Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to my video So let us continue with principle 3 The motor action So just imagine we have this diagram Here we have the conductor Which is carrying current So I And this is the direction Which is flowing downward So with length of L then we have a vector of B and F so it stands for uh, flux density uh, sorry this uh, yes B and F is actually the force in the induced on conductor so this is uh, the direction of B which is into the page okay and then the F to the right so how can we know this direction so uh, later on we will see the here okay the left hand rule and again back to this diagram so i is magnitude of current in wire so we have l the length of wire so b magnetic flux density vector and f the force induced on conductor so what it says an ethical current in a magnetic field experiences a magnetic force perpendicular to both the direction of the current and the direction of the magnetic field. so we can say that these three elements b f as well as the i inside this conductor they are all perpendicular or in degree 90 degree from one to another okay so this means we know that the angle for each perpendicular element is separated by 90 90 degree so the force is proportional to the current and to the strength of the magnetic field so this is the force and this is proportional to the current here and to the strength of magnetic field so to say that in order to have a, okay, a better force or the motion so you should have a high intensity of flux density as well as the high amount of of current so these two parameter will uh, actually affect the performance of or the force or the motion okay and then uh, induction here the process of, of uh, force induction so induction of a force in a wire by a current is the pre in a present of a magnetic field so this is how we can actually describe okay, the diagram or in the other words another effects of magnetic field here uh, the motor action on its surrounding is that it induces a force okay, on a current carrying wire within within the field. So the, with the presence of field, so it be if there is a, a current or the cable which is carrying current, so force will be induced. And this is known as again the motor motor action. So now back to uh, the left hand rule which I introduced earlier. So here we can see that uh, three fingers which is uh, representing each element. So we have again the F, the direction of force. So we have the uh, magnetic field, B of the D, the direction of current. Okay. So we have F, B and I. So you imagine, imagine this is the magnetic bar, uh, magnetic bar. Okay, so here this is another magnetic bar. So we have the N node, we have the S node. Okay, and then this is where the current is flowing from N to S. And then we have the direction of current. So this is the, the cable which is carrying the current. So we have this direction. Okay, this direction. And that the direction of force is actually upward okay or you can have a mathematical form where the magnitude of the force f is equal to b i l sine sin theta so what is theta so where theta in degrees is the angle between the wire and the b vector okay so this means this is the wire and also the b vector and you can see that it is actually a 
90 degree in sorry 90 degree okay or perpendicular here okay and what about f f is uh, neutral and then we have a b and tesla and we have uh, i in ampere and l l in meter so example number four okay we have uh, figure 1.4 shows a wire carrying a current in the presence of a magnetic field so the magnetic flux density b is 0 0.25 tesla directed into the directed into the page okay the x symbol this is mean meaning into into page okay so vice versa so we have dot okay dot mean out of of page okay so what where does this terminology come from so we have just imagine the arrow okay so we have something like this okay we have something like this okay here and you have your okay view over here for example okay can you see from here and you see from here so this is uh, the pointing out of the arrow and this is pointing in or into the page so you can see the symbol is x and here is dot okay the sharp edge over here is is dot okay so you view from here you view from here and you view from here okay and then the, the again so the dot here is out of page and x is into into page director into the page so if the wire is one meter long so l here the wire is one meter long and carries 0 0.5 ampere so this is the direction of i so in the direction from top of the page to the bottom downward so what are the magnetic and direction the magnitude sorry and the direction of the force induced on wire the solution direction of the force is given by the right hand rule as being to the to the right so the magnetic is given by here so f equal to i l b sine theta so i equal to 0 0.5 this is from question so this is the length one meter so the flux density is 0 0.25 and sine theta again this is always 90 degree here so we have defined here the that they are all okay, separated by an entry 90 degree okay perpendicular here also okay 90 degree so this mean just a tt value of 90 degree into theta and giving f okay the magnitude force is equal to 0 0.125 meter so therefore f equal to 0 0.125 newton directed to the Direct to the sorry to the right here. Okay, direct to the right. Again, back to this uh, rules and the left hand rules. Okay, oh sorry. Uh, okay, I just noticed this case and test. So this is actually uh, don't get confused. This is actually left and. Uh, so to be more specific, we utilize left hand rule, particularly for motor action. Okay, okay for motor action. Now, uh, principle for the generator action. So what we can say from here. So this is a here, the diagram over here. So a conductor moving. So we have the conductor here. This part. So it's moving in the presence of a magnetic field. So in the presence of magnetic field. So you can see the symbol of X, X over here. This means the B, okay, the flow of B is into the into the page. Okay. Or here into the into the page. So we have the vector V times B. Okay. So this B here is actually the velocity of the wire in meter per second. Here this B. So here we have V multiply or times 
times b the vector yield between uh, these two okay reaction okay b and d all right or we can simply refer to the okay right hand force okay similarly we have force motion for the thumb and then pointing finger if feel okay b as well as the emf or current so this is the generated emf electro multi force and current uh, for the generator action okay and then represented by uh, the middle middle finger or we can also refer to this diagram we have again the metric bar with north and south pole so we have in between the uh, conductor okay wire we have the motion over here which is pointing upward so we have field from n to s okay and then here uh, due to this phenomenon so it may generate e mf okay so a voltage is induced in a conductor move in the magnetic field and is given as induced e or induced voltage equal to v times b dot l so where v equal to velocity of fire in meter per, per second okay so example five a conductor moving with a velocity of 5.0 meter per second to the right in the presence okay so the v is to the the right okay the direction of b here so in the presence of a magnetic field so the plug density is 0 0.5 tesla into the page so we can understand that b is into the the page okay this is the symbol okay the presence of magnetic field surrounded or surrounding the uh, conductor so and the wire is so the conductor is 0 1.0 meter in length so what are the magnitude magnitude and polarity of the resulting induced voltage okay so remember uh, v is perpendicular to to b okay so v actually uh, perpendicular to to b all right here okay and here so this direction to the right this is uh, uh, Defined in question, so B is into page, okay, into page, and then they say I draw it like this. Okay, we have B into page, and we have F to the F to the right. Oh, sorry, not I, but V to the right. So we have 90 degree in between. So we have over here sign 90, 90 degree. So what about the uh, cost? Uh, this is after we expand the equation. We have V. Uh, times b so b b sine 90 degree dot l cos theta so what about theta theta is actually v the vector of v times b and this is uh, parallel okay to what this is actually parallel to to l okay here is the relation of v times b okay let me get the color Okay, red. So we have B times B. So this is the direction which is upward. Okay, and this direction is actually perpendicular with L okay, of the conductor. So this is the conductor. So this is the L, for example. Let me shape it upward from here to here, and you can see clearly that these two are parallel. Okay, so parallel B times B parallel to L. And of course, one parallel the degree is zero. Okay. So V, B, L, substitute the value of V, 5 meter per second, 0 0.5 Tesla, and the length is uh, L is 1, 1 meter. Okay. And from there, we can have uh, the answer which is uh, 0 2.5 volt positive at the top of at the top of fire so how can we know so vector okay vector uh, voltage in wire here positive 
uh, will be built up so that the positive end is in the direction of vector v times b. Okay, so so the direction of vector v times b here, the one I circle, indicates where the positive part of positive side will be will be uh, induced or will be occurred. Okay, yeah, this means it's pointing up here, and this side or the upper part is where the location or where the positive charge or terminal is uh, located okay Let, and then uh, okay this is the answer for 2.5 okay the magnitude and then the polarity is positive at the top of the y and then example 6 so on a conductor moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second so again this is value and where it goes so to the to the right okay so v to the right okay in the magnetic field so the flux density is 0 0.5 tesla out of pitch okay you see this dot symbol meaning this is uh, representing the direction of magnetic flux which is pointing out of pitch what's the value uh, 0 0.5 tesla b and the wire is 1.0 meter in length. So what are the magnitude and polarity? Again, calculate the magnitude and polarity of the resulting induced voltage. So just now we have B with the, now we have the same direction of B, okay, which is pointing to the left, but we have the opposite direction compared to the previous example, which is now pointing out. Okay, So thus, it is obvious, obviously that this, v uh, vector v times b is moving down downward here okay so moving downward what came what should be coming across to your mind is the uh, positive side okay positive side is at the uh, upper part or bottom part of the conductor okay and then this is given between the uh, the, the 30 degree over here okay so v time b so here v time b is 30 degree from from l so here is l okay l and it is separated by 30 degree okay so this vector and uh, between this l okay and then uh, again v and b so v if I can draw uh, the B over here and also V, it is still 90, still 90 degree. Okay, the direction. So in this voltage, V times B dot L, so V B sine 90 degree, L cos now we have 30 degree. Okay, and 10 meter per second is the speed, the velocity, so B 0 0.5 Tesla sine 90 degree. Okay, L is the length of the conductor and cos 30 degree. So the answer is the magnitude 4.33 volt and this is the okay, direction positive at the bottom of the of the wire. Okay, here yeah, as shown in this diagram. Okay, so we have seen the magnitude and the, uh, the polarity. All right, again, thank you very much for watching. So we have concluded the chapter one and see you uh, in next video. Signing off.